this is my honest review of this ring bender um, that I bought some years ago. I did everything that was suggested in my previous video. I bolted it down to a table so it's basically sturdy. Um, it's no longer unstable like before. I also recognize that I have to have all the pieces in place. But one of the complaints I have about this ring bender is that the torque is not as strong as I would like in this handle. Um, if you have this ring bender, I would like you to um, give your opinion uh, also offer any suggestions that you may have. Okay, I found out that this was um, able to come apart. Um, I was hoping that I could make this a little bit more stable. As you see, this handle has a smooth round attachment and it fits right here. Um, pretty easily so it does go both ways and if you look closely you have an end that you could change the attachments like so you have different sizes okay so I found out that you can use these um, and also the different size um, cylinders. So depending on what you're trying to bend, I'm gonna use this as example. This right here is a beautiful design from, um, from a spoon, um, 1929. And um, let me show you an example. So I would change, I would find something like so. I would put this here, right? And all I have to do now is find the right attachment for that size. Okay, start to fold the metal. Okay. You just keep on going over. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna place it like this and start to bend. Not bad, you know? It's better than it was for before. It's still not as strong as I like, but you just gotta play around with it. Okay, so it does bend the metal. Of course, I would make the ring look a little better, but I wanted to show that it can bend the metal. Of course, you would do it, make it look a little better, but just to show an example, okay? So now that I put all four screws in, um, I also made sure I put the right attachment. Also, you have to make sure that this stays uh, attached. It's a lot looser than I like, but I wonder if other brands like Peppy Tools or Durston have better um, quality. It just seems so flimsy, but it does work, okay? So I always say, before you go out and buy it, um, check the reviews. Um, you do have a couple of attachments here. You have to just have to find the one that fits the metal you wanna work. Um, some people told me that you can put something in between of, of the cylinder 
and this attachment here so you don't scratch up your ring, okay? Let me show you that a little closer too. Now, this is metal against metal. As you've seen, when I place this inside, you have metal against metal. So what you wanna do is put, if you have some leather, maybe something in between, in between here, so this won't scar or scratch any of your metal as it press, okay? Um, that was one of the suggestions that I got on my last video. So, and in, in conclusion, it's, it works pretty well. Just make sure you use the right attachment. Make sure that your ring stretcher, I'm sorry, not your ring stretcher, your ring bender is secure on the table. Uh, make sure that your handle can go left and right. And you have to make sure that the torque is strong as long as you use the right attachment. It is kind of flimsy, but I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. So it can go left, it can go right. And as you see, it did bend this. Now, if I measured it correctly and spent a little bit more time, it would be a, it would be a lot better. But um, my honest review, I like the fact that it's, it is stable, better than before. Also, I realize that you have to know which attachments to use. Um, this could be a cost-effective way to get into making rings. Um, this cost me around $100, um, maybe $10. It may cost a little bit more now. What I'll do is put it inside uh, the video. I will put a link to where I purchased mine from. And um, I hope that this video helped let you know that as long as you put it securely on a table, that you be mindful of the lever and that you use the right attachments, you can bend metal. Um, Just like so. So you can do it with this as well. I also have another attachment over there that I'm gonna show how you can make spoon rings and of the sort. So, all right, so I think that this is a pretty good machine for a beginner. Um, you just have to do trial and error. Also remember, um, so you won't mess up the metal, you can put in a small piece of, piece of leather or maybe even a shop towel right in between so it won't scar up your metal okay all right guys this is jt corn rings coming at you and this is my honest review of this ring bender that i purchased online um i, I, I believe it's made in china but my honest review of this ring bender i hope it helped I'll link my other videos and you can let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions that could help me make a better ring um, with this type of tool. All right, take care guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Take pride in your stack and wear it. Johnson Toe is an American craftsman who could take your favorite coin design and create art that you'd be very proud to wear and something very special to share. JT Coin Rings, handcrafts, handmade jewelry, especially for you.